Hi, this is Marwan, and today we have another video where we are going to discuss quadratic functions. We discussed quadratic functions before, but we saw them in vertex form. We saw what is the meaning by a vertex, what do we mean by an axis of symmetry, how can we say the function is transformed just looking by at its vertex form. Today we will discuss quadratic functions again, but we will not use the vertex form, we will see how to use the standard form to get the same type of information we got from the vertex form. So let's look at our first example here. Before we go through the graph and how it's done and discuss its details, we are going to look at the rules of quadratic function. It says here, the graph of f of x equal ax squared plus bx plus c now this here is the standard form. You need to know that this is the standard form. f of x equal ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants. So these are going to be numbers, and we're only going to have x squared and x as variables in the equation. a does not equal 0. Why doesn't a equal to 0? Well, if a here is 0, this whole term will disappear and you won't have x squared anymore. It's going to be only x, so it's not a quadratic function anymore. It's a linear function. Then this, the graph of this function is a parabola. If a is greater than 0, the parabola opens upwards. So if the coefficient of x squared is positive, when we say greater than 0, then we're talking about it being positive, then the parabola will open upwards. If it's a is less than 0, the parabola open downwards. So in this case, your parabola is going to be opening upwards like that. In this case, it's going to be opening downwards like that. Okay? The axis of symmetry is the line x equal negative b over 2a. Now, before we discuss that, I just want to remind you about some previous things we took when we discussed the vertex form. And for more details, you should go back to this video. I'll link it for you up here. We said that the vertex if you remember, is equal to h and k, right? And we said that the axis of symmetry was equal to x equal h. And the vertex form was f of x, if you remember, equals a x minus h squared plus k. Now, this doesn't look like this at all it's completely different so the way you see the vertex form where a h and k are constants is completely different than the way you would look at the standard form so what we're going to do here we're going to try to from the standard form get the information that we can see clearly in the vertex form in the vertex form just by looking at it you can find the h which would give you the, the axis of symmetry you can see the values of h and k then you know what is the vertex we will see how to find these now they say here that the axis of symmetry is equal to uh, of the line is going to be x equal to negative b over 2a well then this is because we said before it's going to be equal to h is h so this is the x coordinate of the vertex and it's also the equation of the axis of symmetry so negative b over 2a is what you need to find axis of symmetry and the x coordinate of the vertex the x coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a as we said the y coordinate of the vertex now if i have only h i don't i didn't find the vertex i need the rest to find k you're going to just substitute with the value of h in the function and this is what they're telling you the y coordinate of the vertex is the y value of the function for x equal negative b over 2a or y equal f of negative b over 2a which means substitute by negative b over 2a in the function this is just the rule it's quite easy to apply and i'll show you that once we start working now the y intercept and remember the y intercept is always the y coordinate of the point where the function will intersect with the y axis is 0 and c so this is the only thing that's obvious here this c will give you the y intercept now, we didn't have that in the function when it was in its vertex form. Now, let's apply what we have here on this problem. Now, I have the function y equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 1. I already have the graph for it. I just want to study that graph. Now, we said that the, ver the standard form is going to be f of x or y. doesn't make any difference. This is just the name of the function. Equal a x squared 
plus bx plus c. That makes a equal negative 1. This is a and this is negative. It's not only negative number, it's negative 1. b equals 2 and c equals 1. Now, I'm going to use this information to see if this graph is correct or not. We said that the axis of symmetry is going to be x equal negative b over 2a, right? Well, negative b is going to be negative 2 over 2 times negative 1, which is over negative 2, is 1. So my axis of symmetry should be at x, the, the straight line x equal 1. Well, this is x equal 1, and this is the straight line of x equal 1. So you found your axis of symmetry. We said before that the axis of symmetry x equal 2 something is the same as h. So I know already that h is equal to 1 because I found it. I need to find k. How to find k? You are going to substitute with this one in the equation. So it's going to be negative. I'm going to just substitute for x with the value of 1. 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 1. The negative is outside, take care. Because if you put it inside the parenthesis, it's going to give you 1. But if it's outside, it's going to be negative 1. So negative 1 plus 2 is going to be 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So you know the value of h, you know the value of k. So you know that the vertex has to be at 1 and 2. Let's check, is it? Yes, this is the point 1 and 2, which is the vertex. Okay? What else did we learn from here? We learned that the y-intercept should be 0 and c. Well, what is 0 and c? It's 0 and c from the equation is 1. So let's check. Is it? Yes, it is. 0, 1 is the y-intercept for this problem. So using the rule, we were able to find the axis of symmetry. We were able to find the vertex and find the y-intercept of a parabola if you have its standard form. One more thing I want you to notice is that is a greater than 0 or a less than 0? Well, a is negative 1, so a is less than 0. So if a is less than 0, we know that your parabola opened da downwards, which it does, and that makes the vertex a maximum value, if you remember. So this vertex here is the maximum value. The y coordinate of the vertex is the maximum value of y you can get for the whole problem. If we remember domain and range, the domain is going to be from negative infinity to infinity, but the range will be from negative infinity until 2. 2 is the maximum point. Okay? Let's look at another example. Applying the rule to the other example will be much easier that we understand now. Again, I have the function y equal 2x squared minus 6x plus 3. I can tell that a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 6, watch out for the signs, take care, and c is equal to 3. Now, if I want to find the axis of symmetry, I can say that x is going to be equal to, it's the same as h, negative b over 2a, you need to know this rule very well, which is negative negative 6 over 2 times 2, that will give you 6 over 4, when you simplify, it's 3 over 2. So let's check, is the axis of symmetry at 3 over 2, which is 1.5? Yes, it is. Okay, now this here is the value of h, right? So if I want to find the value of k, we will just substitute in the equation. 2 times 3 over 2 squared minus 6 times 3 over 2 plus 3, and your answer is going to be negative 3 over 2, which is the value of k. So the vertex should be at 3 over 2, which is 1.5, and negative 3 over 2, or negative 1.5, which is this point here. It is 1.5 and negative 1.5, but using fractions is always better. Okay? Now, what else do I need to know? I have found the axis of symmetry. I have found the vertex. What's next? The y-intercept. Well, we did say that the y-intercept has to be at 0 and c, which is 0 and 3 in this case. Let's check. Yes, this is it. 0 and 3 is the y-intercept. 
Now we can tell that A is greater than zero, so the parabola is opening upwards, and we can say that this vertex is a minimum value. Why? Because as we said before, the domain is negative infinity to infinity. The range will start from this point. It's going to be from negative 3 over 2 until infinity. Now that we have seen it for the second time, it is much easier. So again, the standard form of a quadratic function is f of x equal ax squared plus bx plus c. All three letters, a, b, and c, are constants. They will help you to find axis of symmetry by using the rule negative b over 2a. You take the axis of symmetry has the value of h because you know that the vertex is somewhere on that line. You substitute in the equation, you find the value of k, then you have the vertex. c will tell you where the y-intercept is. If a is greater than 0, you know that the parabola is opening upwards and the vertex is a minimum. If it's less than zero, you know that the parabola opens downwards and the vertex is a maximum. I hope this has been helpful for you and thank you so much for watching.